Well, check this story out here. The U.S. Coast Guard seizes thousands of pounds of cocaine and other drugs from the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea each year. Some marine biologists now believe sharks could be actually consuming those drugs. Get that. A group of researchers set out to actually prove that theory. Fox News senior cor uh, correspondent Jonathan Seary has that story. Whoa. First it was cocaine bear and now it's cocaine sharks. It may sound like another far-fetched movie plot, but one marine biologist says it may actually be happening off the coast of Florida. Thousands of sharks feasting off bricks of cocaine dumped at sea by drug smugglers. Sharks are intelligent creatures. They've gone up and touched it with the only thing they've got, their mouth, and taken a bite out of it, they would have got a hit of cocaine. So it sounds crazy, but the probability of it occurring is actually quite high. Marine biologist Tom the Blowfish Herd teamed up with other researchers to test the theory for the Shark Week documentary, Cocaine Sharks. The team created packages similar in size to cocaine bricks and filled them with concentrated fish powder, which would trigger a dopamine rush similar to a hit of cocaine. Packages were then dumped in the Florida Keys, where U.S. Border Patrol says it's common to find illegal drugs. Herd says the results were as expected. They didn't increase any aggressive behavior. They basically, they were just tuned up. They were on full alert, ready to go, looking, looking, looking. While more research still needs to be done, Heard hopes the experiment is a wake-up call to the public about the effects of chemicals in our oceans. Looking at the way pharmaceuticals are going through us and entering our waters, that is something that we need to be very you know, concerned about and need to start looking into right now, rather than being too worried about some, you know, hepped up sharks, you know, reaching for the lasers, dancing till dawn. Heard also hopes this leads to research into the impact of chemicals in the seafood we eat. In Atlanta, Jonathan Seri, Fox News.